What you're looking at behind me is the combat proficiency shoot, which is one of the components of in-camp training for NSMEN. During his visit to the Infantry Training Institute, Defence Minister Dr. Ng Yen Hen said that more will be done to make training more realistic and meaningful for the soldiers. I explained to the men that we are building uh, more efficient and more effective training um, environment, if you like. Sometimes using part technology, sometimes still with the same hardware. And I think that we'll continue to move along those lines. How do we, our, our, our goal is to make training realistic and meaningful so that they finish it, they know that, okay, I have to commit a certain amount of time each year. But at least I know that what I've been doing you know, as a unit or individually, I've gained proficiency, I've, I've become better at it in my unit is coming together and I feel confident about my own abilities. Speaking to some 80 NS men from the 724th Guards Battalion, Dr Ng said that the ministry is also looking into ways to better acknowledge their contributions to Singapore. So I was trying to ask them what are meaningful ways and as I said to them there are mandatory acknowledgement uh, which as we can well recognise it uh, and I explained to them, you know, after this in camp, they have 3,005 in their CPF. A lot of them didn't know about it, so maybe we should, I think we should publicize it, like, sort of let them know what they're getting. And then at the end of that, another 3,005. But over and above that, you know, SAFRA, NSRCC, trying to get them the activities that they were subscribed to. I think we can do more and uh, let's have a look at it to see what, in what ways we can acknowledge their contributions. It's an important um, thing that we want to do. To make training more efficient for NS men, the Infantry Training Institute has implemented an automated detailing system to cut down on administrative work. In the past, officers have to manually take down the soldiers' names and scores when they register for training. But now everything is computerized. It cuts a lot of time for us. We can concentrate our shoot or we can give them fundamentals of the shootings, everything. And um, at the same time, um, we can end our shoot early and then the guys can go back and rest. Mida says they may consider implementing this automated detailing system in other camps. Also present at today's event was Minister of State for Defence and Education, Lawrence Wong, and Senior Parliamentary Secretary for Defence and National Development, Dr. Maliki Osman.